let's talk about the, the nuts and bolts of running a profitable D2C site. So what's the nuts and bolts? I, I guess there's plenty of YouTube videos that can tell you how to set up a Shopify site or whatever. But tell me a bit more about what you think is the difference between what you've done that's profitable and, and why so many, this is kind of a dumb question, but I've got to put it out there. How come so many people are running a D2C site and it isn't profitable? What are you doing right that other people need to learn from? Yeah, it's really interesting. And it might be because of how I started, right? Like I started as far as already kind of having a small online community. And I was listening to those people of, hey, I want this, I need this. And I created it. So except for example, before we even launched or before I even had the physical product made, I was already focusing on building my community. So that means on social media, I started in a Facebook group where we really quickly within a year left the Facebook platform for groups and went to our own, a different app. It's called Mighty Networks that we use for our community. But I really showed up to serve that community and put a lot of hype around the product, the journal that was coming. So I think just really nurturing that side of things. And I know some people might be listening to this and, you know, you have a physical product and it might be mugs or cups or t-shirts or something where it's like, well, how am I going to build a community around that? And I really, truly believe that everyone can build some sort of community around whatever product it is that you have. Because the one thing that I have noticed as well is that's what people are craving. I think a lot of people, especially like since the pandemic and even now, you know, yes, the, you know, more events are happening in person and stuff like that online. But I feel like just things have changed as far as people just wanting to know that they are part of something. And I think when I lo even launched the journal, even before I went to manufacturing, I was asking my community, what colors do you want to see? Simple basics that I included them in the process of what and we started with now, what colors did they want to see? And I had like little competitions of voting. So I feel like anyone could do that with a product, right? Like what colors do you want to see? We might think like I was thinking, oh, I would really want a purple journal or a pink journal. And then I asked my community and they're wanting like black or these rainbow colors and all that colors that I would have never even have picked. So I really blended them into the process of creating the journal. And now even three years later, still to this day, I include them. I ask them, hey, what else do you want to see in the journal? What do you not like? Uh, what do you want us to remove? So it's not, I'm not creating a product where it's just what I think, what I believe, what I want to see in it. You know, I'm really taking constructive feedback and making improvements every time we manufacture, which is once a year, I go in and we make a huge update. So I think from the get-go, that's what really laid a really good solid foundation. And seeing that work, that's where I truly like really pour in to my community to make sure, hey, you're not buying, you're not just buying this product once, you're coming back, you're buying it again and again. And then we're able to then launch other products. So when we have that next product drop, you know, they're becoming obsessed with the brand. So then, I mean, I have customers now that they're on their 50th order within three years. And that's huge, right? Like most, most people struggle to get that second, third, fourth reorder on anything. So it's just been such a cool process to being so new to this space, right? This being my first e-commerce business, but also paying attention to what's working and also doing things, not necessarily in a way that, you know, I've been taught where it's just pouring tons of money into ads and, you know, just waiting for that one customer to come in. It's, no, okay, they're in now. How can we nurture them to become obsessed with the brand to keep ordering even more? Mm -hmm.